alaikum, welcome back. How are you all? I hope you're doing well and okay. So before I start the video, I just want to say if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Share this with your friends and families and don't forget to comment and give this video a big thumbs up. So today we're going to make homemade marshmallow and it's made within three ingredients. So what we need is sugar, 250 grams of sugar, 30 grams of gelatin, which is two tablespoons basically. And here I'm using this gelatin over here. Heavily Delights one. And we need some corn flour for dusting. And half cup of lukewarm water. I'm going to use is green food coloring and some vanilla essence. I've taken a bowl. I'm going to add the water. Hot pot water. And then add the gelatin in. And just mix it well. I'm just going to use a spoon and mix it well. It's going to take time to dissolve. See? So just keep this in the hot water for at least 10 minutes. I've taken a tiny saucepan. I'm just going to add 120 ml of water, which is half cup of water. After adding the water, we're going to add the sugar and just let this dissolve and just mix this. Cook this on medium flame for about two to three minutes. So as you all can see, after a minute or so, the serra, the texture of the serra, it's not that sticky. So we're gonna cook it for another two to three minutes. So this is getting cooked. Make sure that the sugar syrup doesn't get burned the sugar syrup is done and I just want to show you this that it has to have strings like this so that means it's the perfect consistency 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 whatever okay. Constance. Constance. Oh. Constance. Constance. what oh, okay Con we both are getting mixed up okay this Okay, so as you all can see, now I'm going to add the gelatin mixture, just pour it in, and then mix it, bring it to a boil. Here, I'm going to pour the mixture in, into a mixing bowl. So after cooking it for about 10 to 5 minutes, 5 to 10 minutes, so here's the mixture. Let it just set for about 2 minutes, and then we're going to use a whisk to beat this all up.
it's so spongy like it's like so looks delicious i haven't tasted it yet hush i'm going to taste it for you all and tell you how it's made i don't know some british accent yeah so you're just gonna fluff it up whoa it looks like slime This is gone for you can use powdered sugar if you want. Yeah, if you want you can either use powdered sugar, but I prefer using corn flour because it's it's like it really gives that kind of a texture. So here we have the marshmallows and they look pretty good. Look at them. So we've got homemade marshmallows which look delish. As you can see they're so like soft and all. So I'm gonna touch this one and show you this one. You see? Look. That's super spongy, just like a marshmallow. Delish, right? So oh, we've got more marshmallows. Now is it done? So no more some again. I'm going to test it and it's gonna be really good, so I'm just gonna eat it. And look at it though. Oh it's so delicious. You can take it for camping outside. It's Barbecue really good. Bye!